singing while I'm able, all I want to do is... Final segment of the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. Again, if you missed any of the program, you can go check out the podcast over at theinfowarrior.com. If you want to send me a little IM or email, you can go to facebook.com slash theinfowarrior or myspace.com slash Jason Burmis. Some of the stories I really didn't get to go to in depth. Chavez asking Cubans to bomb clouds amid droughts. And Chavez brags in this that he will actually be riding along in these planes. And he says, if I see a dry cloud, I'll zap it so that it rains. But again, we can't change the weather, but Hugo Chavez can. It's right here. I'm going in a plane. Any cloud that crosses me, I'll zap it so that it rains, Chavez said at a ceremony late on Saturday with family members of five Cubans convicted of spying in the United States. Many countries have programs aimed at altering weather patterns, commonly known as cloud seeding, although the effectiveness of such techniques is disputed. Firing silver iodine at clouds is one common method. China uses rockets loaded with chemicals to spur rainfall in arid regions. Chavez did not say what technologies the Cubans will use and they do this in russia they do it in china and they openly do it in this country folks they just happen to lie to you about it but then they come out about seven eight months ago with a headline that they're going to be shooting particulates into the air so that they can block the sun and it's harmful rays because the sun is bad no the sun is the life force of the planet without the sun you and i wouldn't be here friends i can promise you that Giuliani calls 9-11 trials too risky, and this is all about playing off the false left-right paradigm and him now calling out the Obama administration just before he may run for governor of New York. He accused the Obama administration of adopting a pre-9-11 approach to fighting terrorists and said, you know what, we should have military tribunals for Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Actually, I think that we should have another show trial in this country. At least some things will come out. Let me give you an example. When they had the show trial for Zacharias Musawi, it came out on MSNBC. This is MSNBC. This isn't Jason Burmis. That Zacharias Musawi, the supposed 20th hijacker, and remember, there were two other individuals that they called the 20th hijacker. It just wasn't Musawi. Musawi was wearing a stun belt at trial so that if he had an outburst or said something they didn't like, they would just stun him. And I'm sure the Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, if that's even who they put up on the stand, because God knows they said they captured and killed Mohammed several times before they actually did. And they started putting out that Super Mario Brothers plumber photo of him. OK, so this guy is going to stand trial in New York. I applaud it. Even if it's a show trial, certain things will come out. So we need this. I'm glad it's not a military tribunal. We should not be put behind closed doors and charged with something that we cannot defend ourselves against properly. That's why we used to have a thing called habeas corpus in this country. It's called you have the body and you have the right to face your accusers. Unfortunately, in 2004 with the Military Commissions Act, that ended. Don't believe me? Go check it out yourself. Go read the bill. You have the power to read and check out everything I'm talking about. Don't believe Jason Burmis. Please don't. Go check it out for yourself. That's how you empower yourself. That's how you gain more knowledge. That's how you become active in the info war, in your daily life. And if you're not active in this very real information war, you will find yourself destitute and in slavery along with your friends and family before it's all over. And that's if you survive.